We've just received a printed circuit board for solder joint evaluation and we're looking at it under the um, optical microscope. We can see pretty much all the joints, all the solder joints on here to make that evaluation. And there's one particular component, um, the ball grid array or BGA component, where the solder joints are actually located beneath the component. And for this, we need to resort to X-ray inspection. Okay, the board that we were looking at under the optical microscope has been loaded into the x-ray machine and we're performing a very general scan just to map out the board. And once that scan's finished, um, I'll be looking at um, the uh, components which we were unable to look at under the optical microscope. Now, um, the ball grid array component, which uh, we didn't have line of sight to its solder joints, actually appears um, like this on the screen. So you've got rows and rows of um, essentially solder balls. Now the object of this particular part of the exercise is to um, quickly um, make sure that all the balls are generally quite round, generally similar in size. And uh, what we're also able to do is um, perform uh, what's called an oblique view scan, where you can actually have a look at each of these individual balls from a tilted angle. The, the idea is uh, we can identify whether or not um, it's um, forming a solder joint at the top um, or and to the bottom of uh, uh, towards the board. Now I'm going through this very quickly. This isn't um, as quickly as we would normally carry out the investigation, um, but um, from first initial views anyway, it does look as though this board, um, there, there, there isn't any unto, anything untoward with this board. Right, so um, that's uh, the live real-time um, x-ray aspect of things. I'm now going to show you uh, a number of images um, of uh, some things which are untoward. Now we start off here with um, an image showing bridging, so you've got um, solder balls shorting to one another as a result of the popcorning effect. I've got another image here which um, shows uh, solder balls which are um, misaligned with the um, pads and the paste on the board side. So um, ideally these pads should be uh, directly in the middle of these balls, but on this image you can see that uh, they're slightly uh, above and slightly to the side. And also here we've got four um, solder balls here and um, three of them have uh, appeared to have uh, formed solder joints with the um, bottom side but there's one in particular which um, hasn't and that's essentially forming an open joint. And um, where requested by the customer we can also do a little bit more in-depth analysis and perform what's called a void calculations. So the and um, in this particular case, uh, on this uh, image, we can see um, these voids identified and highlighted.